Now, the rest of the story. It was a phrase which first attracted Mike's attention. The phrase was cafe coronary, so-called because it ordinarily occurs at a table where food is served. It gives the appearance of a heart attack. Cafe coronary. It has nothing to do with a heart attack. It's entirely something else. It's a cafe coronary. A person is eating either too quickly or too much in one bite. The food sticks in his throat, clogs his air passageway so that he cannot breathe. Unaided, he will be dead in minutes. And the term cafe coronary was sufficiently intriguing to get Mike to pay attention to the rest of the story. A doctor named Henry J. Heimlich had developed an emergency treatment for the condition. First, the rescuer positions himself behind the victim, putting his arms around the victim's stomach. One fist is placed with the thumb inward between the navel and the bottom of the rib cage. The other hand that grasps the fist Four quick inward thrusts will usually dislodge the food caught in the victim's windpipe. Mike was fascinated by this revolutionary treatment, which was being referred to as the Heimlich Maneuver. Mike memorized the procedure. Chances were he'd never need to use it, and yet he figured it was better knowing than, well, than needing it and not knowing. So every once in a while, Mike would review the steps. Get behind the victim, put your fist in his stomach between the sternum and the navel, grasp the fist with the other hand, and give four quick thrusts inward and upward. So, the Heimlich Maneuver was in the back of Mike's mind when he got on that airplane with his friend back in 1976, and they were somewhere in mid-flight when Mike's friend, who had been eating, suddenly clutched his throat. Now, clutching one's throat with both hands is a universal sign for choking. It's the victim's way of telling bystanders what's wrong, especially that he's not having a heart attack. Again, this friend of Mike's was clutching his throat, was turning blue, was not making a sound. Mike remembered that if you can hear the victim gagging or wheezing or coughing, you should leave him alone. But his friend was silent, so Mike Mike knew that he must act quickly or his friend, starved for oxygen, would soon be dead. Mike acted quickly. He recalled and he applied the technique, the Heimlich technique. Get behind the person and squeeze with both fists into the abdomen between the sternum and the belly button. Just squeeze it in real quickly, a couple of quick thrusts. And he did it and his friend didn't die. Most of us neglect the learning of emergency life-saving techniques such as the Heimlich Maneuver, CPR, and so on. Most of us are subconsciously convinced that it could never happen to us. And yet you and I may rethink that conviction after today because of what happened to Mike 13 years ago. Because he saved one life and altered the history of the world. The Mike I've been describing is Michael Deaver, the former deputy chief of staff, to the President of the United States. And the friend he rescued with the Heimlich Maneuver in an airplane in 1976, the life he saved was that of Ronald Reagan. And one thing more, the offending food that stuck in Mr. Reagan's throat, the offending food was a confection repopularized at that time by a man who was then president of the United States, Jimmy Carter. What I'm saying is that President Reagan almost choked to death on a peanut. And now you know the rest of the story. <laughs>